on guys it is Haji Redify and um, today there's two things going on double upload day we're doing how do you how to make the first ugh, thumbnails with pixel and how to use for um, make thumbnails with Photoshop so um, this first video is gonna be pixel it's gonna be pretty cool I think these are both going up on probably Friday but um so we're gonna get right into this uh, if this will work Oh god, mm -hmm. oh, there we go. Alright, first thing you're gonna do is go to pixelr.com. If I remember, I will leave it in the description if you don't feel like searching it up. Because, I don't know. Also, I'm sorry there's some background noise. Like, my washer's going on and the TV's on upstairs. It's very clustered. Also, this is a good song. I recommend you listen to it. It's by NCS. This is just a little clip of it. Oh god, you're probably double hearing it right now. That's not good. There we go. This, this, mm, alright. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go onto the site. You don't need to log in or anything. Just go here to Pixel or Editor. Press Launch Web App. We'll start loading. We'll press Create a New Image. Sorry if this is a bit laggy right now. I really don't know why. Then you're going to go to Width and you're gonna put in 1280. Then in the height, you're going to go 720. And then you're going to want to press this button, transparent, so you can put in transparent images if you wanted. So we're going to press OK. You can name it what you wanted if you really wanted to. So first thing you got is this, a transparent photo. It means you're doing it right first. So let's just say I wanted a picture of Evac from Black Ops 3. I actually searched that up recently when I was making a thumbnail for my kill race. I meant trick shot race, but so let's just say you found this. If you're using um, Pixlr, you are definitely going to want to just do this. Press the image, go to view image, and then copy this URL. If you want to save it, it'll come out in bad quality, by the way. And you're gonna go here. You're gonna go to file, open image URL, and then paste the URL, and it's gonna come out like this. Now, as you can see, it is not actually in the photo, and we can't really move it around. So what we're going to do is press Control, Control Alt A, and then press Control Alt C, and then go back to this image and do Control V. No, Control Alt V. There we go. As you can see, it is very big and not the correct size because it was a 1920 by 7 by 1080 photo. So what we're going to do is go to edit free transform and we're going to make it to the right size so it fits the screen oh god stop um trying to get the best size possible i don't know why it's being like this right now it's being really weird all right let's just say this was the size the image we want and it looks good you're just gonna press out here with your um, left click, and then you're just gonna press apply changes. Now let's just say you wanted a darker filter. You're gonna press Gaussian blur, and you're gonna kind of make it darker, I guess, get blurrier, you know. And then now that this is up, then you can go to the uh, layer. Uh, crap, I forget. Let me think. I think you go to. Um, I can't remember, well actually yeah, brightness, and you're going to bring it down a bit, but you have to make it the exact same contrast and brightness to make it sure it's the same or else it'll look weird. That looks good, um, looks fine. And then, yeah, the, here comes the gun part, uh, let's just say we wanted the Locust Bolt, actually the SVG. 100 Black Ops 3 PNG, you don't need the PNG part. Because that's what makes the photo transparent. So if we press this, and as you can see, there's that little checker part. It means it's right. Or you can get this version that's like laid out like that. But I want to get this. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna go to View Image. Right-click the link, then go to here. Do the same thing. And it, you don't need to add a new layer if you wanted to. You could, but it ad automatically adds a new layer. And then you're gonna do Control V, like like the same thing. 
then you're going to need to do the same thing where you go control alt a control alt c it might actually depend on your computer could just be control v but here you go now as you can see it is gigantic we're going to make it a little bit smaller just because it looks a bit uh well big let's see how that looks that looks pretty good then we can go this now let's just say you wanted a blur right here and then um a glow around it, it looks really cool you're gonna press this button layer styles you're gonna go to uh drop shadow you're going to bring the distance to zero you're gonna bring the opacity to 100 and you can let's just say i wanted a blue uh light blue look you can go like this now that is pretty cool so then we're done with that or you could actually add an inner glow too if you wanted um just to make it look glowing on the inside so let's just say we wanted like a really cool like other color to it um we can bring up the hardness a tiny bit just to bring away that effect a little bit bring it to a similar color also just that'll be useful and we'll go like that and you can bring the inner glow a bit higher to make it look a lot nicer i don't think the outer glow is really needed too much it looks very very nice you're gonna bring that over and then let's just say you wanted a very nice looking text you press a and then you go to this so there, we have a ton of different ones here let's see what our list has dimbo i actually downloaded this and i think there's also long shot which i also downloaded Yes, I do, but I'm going to use Dimbo. This is a very cool one I use. I also use Longshot for cool ones, too. I'll show you that one also, but let me get Dimbo. Let's just say I did a video on Black Ops 3. Um, and I wanted to say Black Ops 3. Now, as you can see, this is very small, so we're going to make it bigger. Uh, let's find a good... That looks very good. Let's just say we wanted it white, or I don't know. We can keep like that for now. We're just gonna move that up here. Then we're gonna make a new layer, new text layer. We don't really need to do that, but Black Ops 3. Um, let's just say we had a clip. We can go S SVG 100. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll just go SVG um, Sniper Quad. Always use capitals because it looks so much cleaner in the uh, thumbnail. I forgot to change it to white. Then we'll make one more and then we'll just go quad. C. And I forgot to change the color again. That is okay. Mistakes are always made. Then you will change the color to white. And that looks pretty cool. Um, I don't think you can do too much extra to it, really. It's super hard to do like other stuff. It's not as easy to do things in Pixar as it is in like other things I use. Like you can't have a cool gradient look to it, which you can do in Photoshop. And that is why I'm making that video in a little bit. So um, this is just a quick tutorial. Hopefully it's a bit helpful. But, um, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please drop a like if you did. Can we get five likes on this tutorial? And, um, yeah. Peace out, everybody. Frank goes boom and Frank goes back. But everybody hate this dude because this dude rap. They say he's whack. Flipping the rhythm I'm spitting like every day. I never took the time to listen to the shit they had to say. Man, I got my idol on the track of me. That's too ill. They all bumping all the joints I did with flow fills. Now my brain is missing. You messed up from the lean you sipping. Hey, XXL, I'm a sophomore, but you're new with this